Hello all, this is Joe, and I've developed uh, a library uh, for the uh, for displays that utilize the HD44780 controller interface. Uh, I've written this library uh, on um, a Texas Instruments uh, MSP430 line microcontroller, but the library should function against most microcontrollers. Uh, I've written some sample code, put it up on my uh, blog, uh, you're more than welcome to download the entire library and play around with uh, the coded samples. So in this video we're going to show you uh, some of the coded uh, examples that I've written. Uh, in particular, this, uh, this particular one is called Special Characters. And when we execute it, you notice that uh, it's printing on a 5x10 character dot pattern. Uh, 5 characters wide, 10 characters in length. And uh, notice the G and the J are lowercase characters that take up the full height of those 10 characters. Uh, the limitation of, of using a 5 by 10 character display is you, on this particular display you only have one line available to you. So uh, you can take a look at my blog and there's uh, all the coded examples are there. There's a link to download the, uh, the entire library. Uh, from my code repository uh, and we'll be going along here taking a look at each of the uh, coded examples. Next program is called uh, Cursor Position. Let's run it. Okay, as you can see it prints uh, four lines of 20 characters but uh, we'll take a look at the code. We'll see actually what it's actually doing. It's printing on the first line. It's printing the first 10 characters Actually, it's setting the cursor position to 0, 0. That's row and column. Prints the first 10 characters. Then sets the next cursor position at uh, a 0, uh, 10. Prints the next 10 characters. Then uh, sets uh, the cursor position to the, uh, the third line, which is the continuation of the first line. Unfortunately, these displays sometimes have weird uh, wrapping capabilities. And then prints all 20 characters on that line. Then goes to the second line, which is actually you see here on the display, starts with 2, prints the, uh, the entire 20 characters. And then goes to the fourth line, which starts with the 3 in this image, and prints uh, all 20 characters. The nice thing about uh, the uh, cursor position uh, is it uses a, a function that allows you to uh, set the, the starting row column and then print the uh, uh, however many characters or symbols that you want. Uh, and what happens is if you read the blog you'll get it goes into much more details about how the DD RAM uh, is positioned uh, for the row and column and then writing to the characters uh, changes the address counter and then uh, allows you to uh, write your characters to the display at uh, various uh, cursor positions so uh, let's go on move on take a look at the next code sample okay, this next code example is called read DDR RAM. I'll run it here for you and then we'll discuss it. Doesn't look like much, but what we're actually doing is we're printing uh, printing the first this uh, to the DDR RAM, which then sends the characters to the display. And then we're using uh, a, a function that actually goes out and reads. It resets the uh, the cursor position back to uh, row zero, column zero, and then reads the characters in uh, DD RAM or DDR RAM, and uh, then takes those characters, sticks them in an array, um, then rewrites the same characters back out to the display, uh, following the first. Uh, in this case, uh, following the first this. So uh, it's quite in depth, but it's a, some nice functions that allows you to read characters in memory. And then in this particular example, we're writing the characters back out to the display. Again, if you take a look at the uh, blog, it goes into much greater detail. You can take a look at the code and see how uh, these functions work with the display. 
Okay, this next code example is called Animate, and it's one of my favorites. Let's run it. Let's run it again. Okay, pretty slick. What this does, instead of just printing uh, boring characters to the display, uh, I've written some code that allows you to, to uh, take advantage of the set cursor position. And there's a couple of other instructions that allow you to specify how the address counter can either increment up or uh, decrement down. And then there's also a couple of instructions that allow you to uh, move, move the cursor uh, left, move the cursor to the right. So what I've done is I've uh, put, put some uh, functions together that allow you to uh, do some uh, rather interesting animation of text to the display. If you take a look at the uh, blog, you'll see it goes into much more details on uh, how this works and uh, some examples of, of, again, of the code working. Uh, so uh, enjoy and, uh, again, to check out my blog for more details.